Chapter 1. You are listening at FameTV.com. Translator. Dragon Boat Translation Editor. Dragon Boat Translation October arrived, and the heat in Anchung faded away. Shen Yen stood in the garden, and she was wet and shivering from the cold. Although, the servants who came and went seemed to be unaware of her existence. They invited the doctor into the house respectfully. No one cared that Shen Yen had also fallen into the pool, and they did not care about what would happen to her. Deep inside, Shen Yen knew that she had no status in the Fu family after marrying to Fu Hang for three years. She was not even as precious as the dog in the house. Moreover, she was incomparable to Lin Xing, her sister Dot and Dot La that Fu Hang utterly cared for. Lin Xing fell into the open air swimming pool along with her. The deepest part of the pool was only 1.5 meters. However, Fu Hang dove straight into the water to save Lin Xing and carry her back into the room. Subsequently, he even instructed someone to call a doctor over. Everyone in the Fu family surrounded Lin Xing. Yet, they treated Shen Yen like air, and no one cared about her at all. Shen Yen kicked off her high heels, which were soaked. Then, she returned to her room barefooted. She took a shower, changed into a new set of clothes, and climbed onto the bed. Afterward, she fell into a deep sleep. Get up. A voice resonated from the side coldly. Shen Yen opened her eyes in a daze as the blanket on her body seemed to be lifted. Her eyes reddened when she saw that the person was Fu Hang. Fu Hang, how is Lin Xing? Shen Yen sat up as she spoke. She pressed her fingers on her temples. Upon seeing a dissatisfied look on his face, she explained in a hoarse voice, I didn't push her down. Fu Hang glanced at her and his eyes filled with coldness. He sneered, get up and follow me to the ancestral hall. Upon hearing his words, Shen Yen woke up fully. She stared at Fu Hang in disbelief. Then, she endured the pain on her body and questioned, what do you mean? Apologize. Fu Hang didn't even bother looking at her. He dragged Shen Yen out of the room. It was as if he was dragging something. Fu Hang felt so upset that he didn't want to speak to Shen Yen. Lin Xing's body was weak, to begin with. Even though he immediately called the doctor after she fell into the water, the child in her stomach did not survive. That child was his big brother's only bloodline. But because of Shen Yen, there was nothing left as the child was gone. Shen Yen was completely stunned when she heard his words. It was as if she was drenched from head to toe in a basin of cold water in the middle of winter. It was bone dot chilling. The ancestral hall of the Fu family was a dangerous place. The last person who entered it never came out. Fu Hang, I really didn't do it. Listen to me, Shen Yen struggled to get out of Fu Hang's hand, but it was to no avail. The pain made her face pale as he grabbed her even tighter. If you have anything to say, tell it to the Fu family. His cold voice echoed from the front. Shen Yen staggered behind Fu Hang. She glanced at Fu Hang's weld defined side profile. Back then, she risked cutting off contact with her family just to marry him because of his beautiful face. However, he had never shown her any kindness ever since she married him. She believed that after three years, no matter how cold his heart was, it would be warm up by her. However, she was wrong. There was only Lin Sheng in his eyes. He only showed his gentleness to her and it was as if he gave his entire heart to her. Let go. A cold smile appeared on Shen Yan's face. Her voice was monotonous. I can walk on my own. Fu Hang's black eyes flickered with disgust as he glanced at her. He pursed his lips tightly and suppressed the anger in his heart. Then, he raised his feet and walked toward the ancestral hall. Shen Yan looked at his back. She truly felt that those three years was a joke. She walked towards the brightly lit ancestral hall step by step with her bare feet and kneaved at length nightgown. He didn't even give her time to put on her shoes. She clearly remembered that two days ago, Fu Hang squatted in front of Lin Xing and helped her put on her socks and leather shoes because she was preparing to go out in sandals. Moreover, he even told her to keep warm and take care of herself. Shen Yen smiled contemptuously. Her staying in the Fu family was just a joke. 
Everyone in the Fu family was waiting for her in the ancestral hall. Kneel down. The pair of eyes under Fu Hang's sword like eyebrows were fierce and merciless. It was as if a knife had stabbed into Shen Yan's heart. It hurt so much that she could barely breathe. Shen Yan's face was red due to the high fever. She glanced at the crowd. Everyone was looking at her as if she was a devil. I am not in the wrong. Why should I kneel? Shen Yan stood there and said slowly, I'm not kneeling. Seeing Shen Yan's attitude of refusing to admit her wrongdoings, old master Fu got so angry that he directly threw the cup in his hand beside Shen Yan's feet. He declared furiously, kneel down. The broken porcelain pieces from the cup pricked Shen Yan's legs. The pain made her gasp. Old Master Fu reprimanded her sternly as he saw that Shen Yen was not scared at all. Shen Yen, kneel down and apologize now. Shen Yen endured the pain and straightened her back. She fearlessly met Old Master Fu's gaze. I didn't push sister dot and dot law. I didn't do anything wrong. I will not kneel down and apologize. Apparently, she doesn't know how to repent. Someone beat her to her knees. Old Master Fu pointed at Shen Yen in fury. Yes, Shen Yen has gone too far. Not only did she harm Lin Xing's child, but she also refuses to admit her mistake. That's right. If we don't teach her a lesson properly, who knows what kind of heinous things she will do. Poor Master Fu. He doesn't have a child to carry on the family line. Everyone scrutinized Shen Yen as if they were looking at something cancerous. They seemed to want to cut her into a thousand pieces. Shen Yen stood there calmly as her gaze swept across them only her mother dot in law, Su Xiao, who was usually kind to her was worried about her. Su Xiao felt sympathetic for Shen Yen as she saw that her feet were bleeding. She looked up and said to old master Fu, Dad, Shen Yen is still young and she already knows her mistake. How about, as old master Fu glared deadly at Su Xiao, she immediately went silent and didn't dare to speak. When she saw that Shen Yan's feet were covered in blood, she walked up to Fu Hang and uttered in a low tone, Fu Hang, Shen Yan is injured. She's your wife. You should bring her down to rest, Fu Hang's pitched up black eyes grew colder. He said scornfully, I don't have such a vicious wife. Shen Yan stared at Fu Hang in disbelief. Fu Hang tilted his head and met the gaze of Shen Yen. His eyes were filled with hatred as he said frigidly, Shen Yen, you're on your own now. The hatred within his eyes grew more prominent as he thought about his big brother's child turning into a pool of blood. He pulled Su Xiao away to stand at the side as he felt uncomfortable near Shen Yen. Fu Xiao Xiao had always been at odds with Shen Yen. She walked in front of Shen Yen and kicked Shen Yen's leg with her high heels to force her to kneel. Shen Yan stood upright and glared at Fu Xiao Xiao with her head tilted. Kneel. Fu Xiao Xiao looked at Shen Yan with her head held up high. Her lips curled into a cold smile as she said, Grandpa wants you to kneel. Fu Xiao Xiao kicked Shen Yan's hamstring again and again. Seeing Shen Yan still being so stubborn, she stepped forward and slapped Shen Yan's face. Then, she kicked Shen Yan's hamstring heavily. Listen to the full novel at fametv.com, direct link in the description.